Prevalon turn and position system is designed to assist and maintain proper patient positioning to offload the sacrum. This can help prevent sacral pressure ulcers. The system allows the patient to be easily turned to a 30 degree angle. The system also effectively manages moisture and body heat to protect patient's skin. In addition, it helps prevent injuries to nurses and other caregivers by providing them an easier, more ergonomically friendly method of turning and repositioning patients. This also helps increase compliance to turning protocol. The sacrum is the number one location for pressure ulcers to develop, accounting for 37% of all pressure ulcers. The National Pressure Ulcer Advisory Panel states, repositioning should be undertaken to reduce duration and magnitude of pressure over vulnerable areas of the body. Current methods of turning patients can be cumbersome and sometimes result in nursing injuries. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, registered nurses suffered more than 10,000 musculoskeletal injuries in 2009. Nurses' aides, orderlies, and attendants suffered more than 25,000 injuries. Other research shows nurse back injuries cost an estimated $16 billion annually in workers' compensation benefits. All this can result in lower compliance to turning protocol. Research shows up to 90% of acute care patients who need help in repositioning do not receive manual turning as needed. OSHA recommends minimizing manual lifting of patients in all cases and eliminating lifting when possible. OSHA also recommends providing employees with proper assist devices and equipment to reduce excessive lifting hazards. The Prevalon Turn and Position System contains four elements, a fastener strip, low friction glide sheet with multiple handles, and an anti-shear strap, a microclimate body pad, and two 30-degree body wedges. It has a maximum weight capacity of is designed for single patient use, and can be used for the entire length of stay. It can even travel with a patient to rehab or long-term care. It's compatible with alternating pressure mattresses and beds, as well as low air loss beds. Periodically check the product for signs of wear and replace the product if damaged. Before using the turn and position system, make sure the bed brakes are locked, the bed is flat if patient condition allows, and at waist level. Follow your facility's best practice standards when preparing to turn and reposition. Attach the fastener strip to the movable part of the bed frame. This will be used to hold the glide sheet in place. Do not apply the fastener strip to the headboard or stationary part of the bed. Lower the bed rail closest to you. Unfold the glide sheet with body pad alongside the patient. The anti-shear strap should be at the head of the bed. Align the top of the glide sheet with the patient's shoulders. To center the device under the patient, roll the patient away from you onto their side following patient handling policy and procedures. Tuck the glide sheet with body pad under the patient and unroll it toward you. Raise the bed rail. Repeat this process on the opposite side and return the patient to the supine position. Grip the black handles located on the side of the glide sheet and gently slide the patient into place. Make sure the patient's heels and head do not drag across the bed. Align the patient's hips with the hip placement indicator or hinge point on the bed. Now you're ready to offload the sacrum. Place the 30 degree body wedges directly on the mattress under the bottom sheet. This will work with flat or fitted sheets. Make sure the blue side is up and the gray dermosuede side is down. Tuck the first wedge under the patient's back, making sure the base of the wedge is on the mattress. The second wedge should be placed under the patient's thigh and buttocks. Leave approximately the width of your hand between the positioned body wedges at the sacrum. This will allow you to check and make sure the patient's sacrum is offloaded. Next, grab the black handles on the glide sheet. Pull the patient across the bed horizontally toward you until the patient is angled between 20 and 30 degrees. Be sure to not lift the patient. The patient is positioned correctly when the sacrum is offloaded. Smooth out any wrinkles in the glide sheet and body pad, then raise the bed rails. Next, adjust the head of the bed to the desired angle. Attach the anti-shear strap on the glide sheet to the fastener strip on the bed frame. To reposition the patient, simply remove the body wedges and repeat the process on the opposite side. Reposition the patient according to your facility's protocol for frequency of positioning. The turn and position system can travel with the patient throughout the hospital through length of stay. The gray dermosuede material on the top of the glide sheet has been engineered to hold the microclimate body pad in place. If the microclimate body pad is soiled, simply remove it from the glide sheet and replace it with another. Only use the turn and position system microclimate body pads. If the glide sheet or body wedges become soiled, simply wipe clean with a damp cloth. Do not launder this system as it will compromise its performance. For more on the Prevalon turn and position system and other products from Sage, 
visit our website at www.sageproducts.com or call 1-800-323-2220.